I started working for the Pullman Company in 1928. You had to get accustomed to the swing of the train seat to get used to that. Now, when I first got on the train up there in the uh, and uh, going along the trip, and I had three hours of sleep. Well, I couldn't sleep because I couldn't get used to that click and click and click and click and click and click. That rail, that train hit that, that rail, see. For more than a century, the Pullman Company provided the traveling public the highest quality overnight railroad accommodations in America. The service was legendary. It was estimated that during World War II, 125 million passengers slept in a Pullman berth while traveling 98 billion miles. Yet the company never owned a locomotive and it owned no tracks. It was the vision of a man that represented the best and the worst of the American entrepreneurial spirit. George Pullman and the Pullman sleepers were so important to railroad passenger history. And the Pullman sleepers were those rail stories that my grandparents told about how luxurious it was to travel the rails in America. And our mission here to educate and preserve uh, passenger train history uh, certainly wouldn't be complete without a Pullman sleeper. Many Pullman sleepers ended up as scrap or rusting in rail yards. This is the story of one such car and its journey from decay to restored glory in Kentucky's heartland and the group of dedicated volunteers who imagined it might be possible.